Okay, all right, what the hell? Address the Jewish question. That's a hell of a thing to ask. So that's Jack Lintern, you know? I mean, really, that's a hell of a thing to ask. But I will say something about it, you know? And I've thought about this a lot. So there is evidence that Ashkenazi Jews, so those are Jews of European heritage, have IQs that are about 15 points higher than the population average. So that's a lot, 15 points. It's about the average difference between the typical high school student and the typical state college student. It's a lot. And one of the things that means is, so imagine there's two distributions and that they overlap and that the Jewish one is, uh, is the, the mean is, is 115, so the whole distribution is shifted to the right. What that means is that if you go up into the higher IQ strata, 130, 145, way the hell up there, that Jewish people are overwhelmingly overrepresented at the high end of the IQ distribution. Now, the price they pay for that is some increased propensity for neurological diseases that seems to be associated in some sense with that heightened IQ. Now, you know, the science on this isn't settled, but, but it, it's reasonably solid, it, you know, given the standards of such things. Okay, so Jews are going to be overrepresented at the high end of cognitively complex disciplines. So then I would say, and that's the case, like they're way overrepresented among like outstanding scientists and among Nobel Prize winners and, and so forth. And so, you know, people look and they think, well, why are there a disproportionate number of Jewish people in positions of authority? And they say, well, it must be a conspiracy. You know, it must be systemic in some sense. It's like, no, it can be simply accounted for by that relatively large IQ differential. Now, the next criticism would be, well, don't the Jews tend to lean left? Well, first you might say, well, you know, given what happened in, in Nazi Germany, to the degree that that was right wing, as we discussed earlier, that's the nationalism and ethnocentrism. It's hardly surprising that they might, you know, in this historical period of time, tend to move towards the left. But more importantly than that, IQ is associated with trait openness. And trait openness is a strong predictor, predictor of political liberalism. So, and it's the strongest predictor of political liberalism. So, you know, it's very difficult. So that's what I have to say about that. It's like, and the other thing I would say is, you know, the fact that there's a population, a subpopulation of people who are much smarter than average, not on average, right? On average, I've, you got to get that straight. On average is actually of great benefit to the rest of us because what do you want? Fewer geniuses? fewer people with IQs of 145 or 160 that's and you know and it's no conspiracy that puts people who are smarter higher up in competence hierarchies because IQ is the best predictor of movement up in a complex co competence hierarchy so there I've addressed the Jewish question it's like it's a confusion between ethnicity and and IQ as far as I'm concerned so I'll probably get like painted six different shades of black for that answer but it's I've thought about it a long time. It's the best that I can manage.